All right, welcome back to J Solo Arts, everybody. In this video, we're going to be doing a tutorial on edge highlighting, but not in a traditional sense. We're not going to be using paints or paintbrushes. No, we're going to be using a set of AK Interactive weathering pencils I just picked up. Really looking forward to see how they work out. Haven't tried them yet, so this is the first time. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get edge highlighting. <laughs> guys so back to the uh, hobby bench here and I've got lined up here the AK interactive weathering pencil set that I picked up um, I think there's a total of 38 I counted when I was at the at my FLGS and they had a display it had 38 pencils in it they go for a dollar fifty each at um, my store US um, of the 38 I picked up 11 here, I think I just counted. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 of them. In some of the colors that I thought um, I could use on projects I've got going currently, I think the next time I go back, I'll go ahead and pick up the rest of them, because I kind of like them. Um, so, looking over here, we've got Zarbag. I've got him somewhat base-coated. I was going to use the dark aluminum color I've got here. It's number 35 in the set. I think it's... Uh, the higher the numbers get, they've got a metallic, they've got gold, they've got silver. Um, but the colors you can see I've got here, I've got uh, the chipping color, light blue, streaking dirt, red primer, dust and rain marks, dark rust, medium rust, light rust, dark aluminum, which my hobby store owner said was the most in demand, hardest to get color. Got concrete marks and dirty white. So for this starting... Uh, color I'm going to use, I think the dark aluminum, I'm going to use that on the edge of the kettle he's got here, kind of give it a, a weathered metal look to the black kettle I've got going. So let's get that color out, pull him apart, set the others off to the side. Pardon me, the allergy season is awful here in the Midwest. I've been cutting grass and it has just been terrible for my allergies, so I apologize for that. So let's go ahead and zoom in. Get him in the frame. And let's get that kettle. Where are we at there? There we go. Alright, so let's take our pencil. And just go along. Oh, that's the concrete marks. Wrong color. Let's go along with the dark aluminum. So you can see it there. Number 35. Now let's go along the edge of that kettle. Just ever so gently. And you can see it's picking up the edge of his cauldron over here. You can see that shine start to come out. Flip it over to the back. It doesn't have a shine on the edge there. So let's again take the edge of the pencil and just go along the edge of that cauldron. And you can start to see that. little metallic glint on there as if the weathered edge of his cauldron is almost like a dry brush but not a brush it's a pencil let's maybe do a little bit on the leg of his cauldron there just bring out the little highlights there
just kind of catch the top edge with the pencil. Not difficult, no worries of really overpainting or getting too wide of a line on there. So that looks pretty good. Just a slight highlight on the edge of that cauldron. Now, one thing I did notice, I was experimenting with these. If you don't like what you've done, you can take a pencil eraser, just a good old fashioned number two pencil eraser, and you can remove it. If you don't like how it's looking. Alright, just rub that just like you would any pencil. And you've pretty much removed that mark. Bring a brush in just to kind of dust away the eraser leavings. quite a bit. There's not quite the glint of, of the, the metal like there is here. You can definitely see the, the, the metal highlight. And on the back here, it's all but been removed. In this area here. Just brush away again. And you got it removed. So I thought that was pretty cool. It's pretty easy if you do not like something that you've done with it, you can remove it with a pencil eraser. I thought that was great. So these are just like pencils. Um, let's try a little bit more on his cloak here. Let's try to get a, an edge highlight on his dark, we've got a dark gray color on there right now. So let's take out uh, the number 30 streaking dirt and let's just try to see what this does for his cloak and if we don't like it we can just use the eraser and remove it so let's just go down one of the highlights or one of his uh, edges on his cloak here just draw that down watching out for the mushroom at the bottom of the base just kind of draw that down and see how that looks you definitely see the brown highlight there on the uh, edge of his cloak. Let's try it in another spot or a good edge to catch. Maybe on the top of his hat going along there. There we go. Let's see what that does. And there you can see. You kind of give it a variation to the color of this cloak, giving it a kind of a brown highlight. I'm not going to lie, I don't love the brown highlight on the gray cloak. I kind of think a lighter gray would look better. So hey, let's remove it. Make sure he's on his base there, so not going to pop off. Get your magic eraser here. off the excess maybe a little more erasing would be required to get the the final bits off there don't want to rub too hard because you don't want to remove your, your base coat but from what I can see pretty well gone. And I'm down the side of his cloak there. If you don't like it, you can remove it.
to leave a bit of a shine where it's kind of got the waxiness from the eraser and the pencil on there but at the same you know for the most part that color is gone and you can go over it with something else let's try uh let's just try a gray let's just see how that works one last check here this is dust rain marks aka number 26 let's just try that let's go back to the top of the hat Let's go, let's go along the rim of his hat here. His hood, pardon me. Try to bring out the edge of the hood to kind of make it show up a little more. Look at these now. I probably should have got a green color. I wasn't even thinking about the green color. But again, you can see the edge of his cloak, the edge of his hood. It's a little lighter than I would like to start, but again, this is just for demonstration purposes, how these, how these work. I'm pretty pleased with them. the eraser if you don't like it we're just going to take it off and your eraser marks and your leftover it's got a little bit of a shine on it because it's been rubbed with the eraser so it's kind of come to a gloss and a little bit of the waxiness from the pencils but the color's gone there is really very little leftover color. here where it's been mostly removed well I like these things I'm just gonna say right now we'll give them a little bit more of a work and we'll try some other colors on some different I got the light blue to do some panel not panel lining but edge highlighting on the ultramarines I've got Let's see if that works number 23 light blue down the line, I picked up that color to to use on my Space Marines. But all in all, I like these products. I think it's a it's a good line. AK Interactive Weathering Pencils. If you see them at your local game store, grab some. I think they work well. They're uh, they're a nice, easy way to do some edge highlighting, some panel lining, and uh, again, if you don't like it, the eraser works very well on removing it. So. Thank you very much for checking this video out, guys. As always, I'm Jay Solo. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe. Smash that like button. And uh, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as well, at Jay Solo Arts. And uh, thank you very much. Have a great day.